What is up beautiful people? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today is day three of the 12 days of Christmas gift exchange. <laughs> 12 days of Christmas gift exchange with me and my planner bestie Larissa of Be You Beautiful One. I will link her channel down below so you can go and check out what I gave her for the third day of Christmas and right now I'm gonna open up my gift day three from her. So let's get into it. This is heavy. Oh boy. I always get so nervous when I open these because it's like, it's so exciting to see what's in here. I'm nervous. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. This is called Jesus Listens by Sarah Young the author of Jesus Calling. <gasps> what? The Jesus Calling is one of my husband's favorite books. What? He's going to be jealous when he sees this. Uh-oh. Okay. It's a daily devotional prayers of peace, joy, and hope. Oh my word. This is so beautiful. I love this marble on here. That is so beautiful. Okay, let's see what the back says. Experience a delightful relationship with the Savior who loves to hear your prayers. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, many of us want to pray, but we feel unsure about what to say or where to start. And Jesus listens, guides you in daily devotional prayers of peace, joy, and hope. Scripture references at the end of each prayer continually return you to God's word. Oh my word. Okay. Oh, what? Well, wait a minute. There's something in here. <laughs> I was about to go right to the to the word, but there is something beautiful in here. Okay, this is from Larissa's shop. All right. This is um the first sheet and it says, "Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light for my path." I know that's right. That's Psalm 119 and verse 105 and look at this beautiful lady here with her Bible and there's uh, notes and uh, another Bible that's open wide to the word and then a candle because his word is a light and a lamp oh my word yes honey and then these two girls are so cute they have their little scriptures open and they're praying you better pray that word honey I have two sets of those that is so beautiful thank you so so much Larissa this is gorgeous. Now let's just read day one. Let's just look at the first day. Let's go to day one in the Devil Shanal. Okay, day one, January 1 says, My living God, as I begin a fresh year, I rejoice that you are continually working newness in my life. Because you are doing a new thing, I refuse to let last year's disappointments and failures define me or dampen my expectations. This is the day for a fresh start. I know there are no limits to your creativity, so I anticipate some lovely surprises <laughs> in this year that stretches out before me. Lord, I receive today as a precious gift from you. This is the day that you have made. I know you have carefully prepared it for me with tender attention to every detail. So I have good reason to rejoice and be glad in this day. As I journey along the path of life, I'll search for signs of your loving presence. I delight in finding the little blessings you sprinkle along my pathway, sometimes in surprising places. As I discover them, I'll thank you for each one. This keeps me close to you and helps me find joy in my journey. In your blessed name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. That is beautiful. Do you hear me? I love that. Larissa, you did that, friend. <laughs> friend. 
<laughs> you did that. That was really, this is really, really good. And the stickers are gorgeous, of course. So I love this. And now, let's continue with today's spread. Here we go. I'm studying this book, Hope Has Come, from Daily Grace. And like I think I have mentioned in a couple of videos prior, I was sick last week, so I'm not completely caught up on my Bible study. Um, but I'm going to catch up. So I want to go ahead and set up my pages for this week. So when I'm done, when I'm finished with last week's lesson, I can go ahead and start this week. And what I have done just in the interest of time is I have gone in and drawn the lines for my boxes. Let me get myself set, situated here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I just need to, I drew them with pencil in here. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, I think you can. So I drew them with pencil and now all I'm going to do is go back with my pen and I'm going to um, make the lines darker so that I can see them nicely and then I'm going to add these poinsettias. Alright y'all, so that is going to do it for me for this week for my Bible study notes prep, I'm setting up my pages to come in and take notes as I am reading my Bible study book that is called Hope Has Come. And what I like to do is just set my pages up so I can come in and write down 
key scriptures. At the beginning of each chapter, there are scriptures um, outlined for us to read. And so I come in and write down the ones that really stand out to me. And then as I read through the chapter, I also write down notes that um, coincide with the topic for the, the day. This whole week is about peace. So you've got Candlelighting Day, Perfect Peace is Day 2. We've got Prince of Peace, Peace on Earth, and I leave lots of space open so that I can come in and take my notes. This notebook or this section of my planner is not really so much about decorating as it is about um, making this page very functional. So here is a different layout with the diagonal line down the middle, key scriptures down the side and notes down the side as well. And then I have all this room in the middle to come in and write down everything that I need to add and then finally I close out the week with a day of reflection. Typically this is a series of questions I can come in and answer all the questions if I want to or I can choose one or two of the questions whatever works for me. I love 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 how this looks. I love the poinsettias. I love the bright pop of red especially in contrast to the black and white that I used last week. I think this looks so so good contrasted against the black and white that I used in the previous week. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and I am thankful for you for joining me for this video. Thank you for supporting this channel and I hope that you're having a great week. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. See you next time.